What's up guys, this is B-Sensei. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to play SNES games on your Nintendo DS. 3DS, 2DS, does, uh, DSi, doesn't matter, all of them will work. So what you're going to need for this, of course, you're going to need a flash card. I'm using the R4 SDHC Dual Core. And of course, you're already going to need to have the firmware installed and working. I'll have a video on that, so go ahead and check that out. But yeah, once you have those things done, all you got to do is take your micro SD card, put it into your computer, and I'll show you guys what to do next from there. All right, once you're on your computer, you're going to want to go over to gamebrew.org. Um, yeah, and as you can see, it's a wiki dedicated video game homebrew. And uh, you're going to go to slash wiki slash snemule at DS. Yeah, that's going to be the emulator we're using, snemule DS. All right, once you're here, just go ahead and scroll down. It has some information about the emulator. We want to scroll down until on the bottom right, you see the download button and click on that. All right, and you get a zip file, go ahead and save it wherever you'd like. I'm going to save that right here in the NDS folder. All right, now it's done downloading. I'm going to go ahead and extract it. All right, so now we have it here. You can go ahead and delete the zip file now. All right, go ahead and open that. And as you can see, uh, we have a, stim a stimul ds.nds and we have the simul.cfg you're going to want to copy both of these over to your r4 so just drag and drop them over to the root of your r4 card all right and next we're going to need to add our games okay so i'm going to go back here and as you can see i have an snes folder right here with super mario world fsc all right and that's going to be the game i'm going to be putting on there so i'm just going to you don't have to put in an snes folder but i like to do that to keep it organized but yeah so we're just going to go ahead and drag this over to our r4 as well and just to make sure we have our snes folder we have smule ds to nds and we have the, the config file there so after that you're pretty much set so go ahead and eject your micro sd card out of your computer and i'll show you guys what to do next from there all right, after you're taking your micro SD card out of your computer, you can then put that into your R4 and then put it into your DS and then turn your DS system on. All right, and once you're here, just go to the game section and then we're gonna scroll down until we see Simul DS at NDS. Go ahead and open that. And it will immediately give you a ROM selection screen. All right, so we have Super, as you can see, we have Super Mario World right there. Just go ahead and open that. And then boom. Now we have a bunch of different options. <laughs> if you want to select a different game, go ahead and do that here. Um, you know, there's different save states as well. And there's different options. Um, yeah, we can, you can change uh, the, the, the graphics. Um, yeah, you can, you know, change whether you want sound enabled, S and RAM saving, S RAM saving. Um, you can change the speed, memory packs, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, let's actually, <coughs> let's actually hop into the game and uh, yeah, let's see how well it goes. Uh, All right, now we can select a level. Just go to level right here. <coughs> and as you can see, the controls are working pretty smooth, working pretty well. All right, we got our Yoshi over here. You can go ahead and ride that. As you can see, able to finish the level there, so you can kind of see how the gameplay is there. 
But anyways, that's going to do it for me, guys. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and peace.